loving it. I just say, but income just bring all of it and trainer and welcome back to my channel for yet another amazing workout. Today is officially day one of our Yas Beach summer workout mini series. We will be kicking things off with a yoga sequence, focusing on opening up those hips, just going through the full range of motion and or breathing techniques. So all you really be needing for this sequence is a nice soft surface to work on. So if you have a mat at home, go ahead and roll it out or you can just work on a rug or a towel, whatever you have on hand at home. And without further ado, let's get into this sequence. All right, so we're gonna do five breaths for each of these 10 moves. Our first one is a little warm up move. We're gonna start on our left side. We're just gonna warm up that right hip. So make sure you have your left elbow stacked onto the left shoulder as we get into that left side plank, forearm on the mat and fist pointing it out in front of you. Make sure that back is in line with those legs that are straightened out if you want to have better balance and you feel like you're rocking around too much when you push up in the plank, you can go ahead and just have that left leg at the bottom bend, just so you're not rocking too much if the straight leg is too much for you. So we're gonna push up into our plank, we're gonna take our right leg, bend that knee, you're going to keep it pointing up to the sky, keep that back straight, engage the core. You're going to take that right foot, point those toes, tap in front of the left leg, drag that knee up, bring the leg back nice and slow and controlled, and just take those right toes to tap behind the left leg. So you're going to do that, one, one, you're doing that for five breaths. Ready? So as we press up, really engage that core, don't drop the hip to the mat. Stay up, push that right pelvis up to the sky, then drive the knee up, deep breath in, bring that knee up and out as we bring that leg behind. Let's go, four more. In, drive it up and out. In and out, two more. In and out, last one. In and out. Slowly lower to the mat. Get ready for our next move. We're gonna stay in that left side plank again. This time, instead of crossing in front and behind, you're gonna take that right leg and slide it up nice and slow to that left knee. Bring it back down to the ankle. Ready, again. If that's too much for you, you can go ahead and bend that left knee and just slide up the mat. Make it have contact with the left knee and then slide it back out to straighten. Ready? And up into that plank, slide up, up, up. Deep breath in. Slowly let it out as you slide the leg down. Let's go. In and out. In and out. Two more. In and out, last one. In and out. Slowly lower. Bend both knees. Gonna go for a clamshell this time. Just gonna deep breath in as we open that right knee, pointing out to the sky and out slowly as we bring it back on top of that left knee, both knees pointing out. Ready? Deep breath in, slowly roll it back, knee up to the sky and out as you go down. In and out. In and out. Two more. In and out. Last one, in and out. Awesome. Now we're gonna roll onto our tummies, press up onto the hands and the knees. We're gonna get those knees tacked under the hips, wind those legs hip width apart, keep that back nice and straight, don't arch and don't round. Just a nice flat back. Both hands tacked onto the shoulders. I'm gonna start off with that right leg again. For a run position, just bring that right leg between the hands in line with your midline, going down to the mat. And you can just sit up, 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 
Straighten that back some more. Go as high as you can manage. If you need help with your balance, you can just keep those fingertips in contact with the mat. Or if you think you can handle it, just roll all the way up. Just tuck that pelvis under so it's not sticking out. Want to really relax that back. Keep a flat spine. Tuck the butt under. Nice and slow control. Deep breath in. As you raise arms up to the sky. And out. As we straighten that right leg and sit back onto the left heel for reverse runners. Deep breath in as we come back to runners. Keeping that right knee bent, arms up to the sky. Nice and slow. And let it all out. Bring those arms down, straighten the right leg, and sit back on that left heel. Three more. Deep breath in, arms up to the sky. Back into our runners. And out, arms down. Sit back onto the left heel. Two more. In, arms up to the sky. And out as we rock back. Last one. In, arms up to the sky. And out as we sit back onto that heel. Now come up, up, up. Back into a runner's position. Hands on either side of that right foot. We're just gonna rotate to the right, bring that right hand up, pointing to the sky. Taking a deep breath in as we go. Follow the movement with your eyes. And out with that breath as you bring our hands back into a runner's position. And do that five times. Deep breath in. And extend to the right. Slowly let it out as we return. Two. Up to the sky. And out as we come down. Three. Deep breath in. And out. Four. Deep breath in. And out. Last one. Five. Deep breath in. And out as we return. Now just gonna take our time. Rock our right foot over to that left hand. Gonna lower. Really plant those hands on the mat to help you place that right leg onto the mat. Gonna keep that knee pointing out to the side or in front, whatever your level of flexibility. We're going in for our pigeon now. So you're just gonna keep that left leg straightened out behind you in contact with the mat if you can manage it. Gonna walk those hands forward as you bend forward over that right knee. Deep breath in. Slowly let it out. Each time you let it out, you can walk the hands forward some more to see if you can get a deeper stretch out of it. Deep breath in. And slowly let it out. Walk those hands forward if you can. Deep breath in. Slowly let it out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Now we're just gonna walk those hands back. Come up into sitting. We're gonna slowly rock over to the left. Slide that right leg behind. Knee in contact with the mat. Both knees, hip width apart, stacks under those hips. Hands under the shoulder. We're gonna do some hip circles on the right. So we're just gonna take our time, keeping that back nice and flat. Straighten that leg out behind to hip level. Bend the knee and point it out as we bring it close to the elbow. Bring it in and back to be stacked under the hip. Bend that five times. Ready, deep breath in. Rotate to the side, bend that knee. Slowly let it out as we return. Deep breath in. Raise the hip level. Turn that leg 
leg out, point the knee out, and let that breath out as we return. Three more. Deep breath in, rotate, out as we return. Two more. Deep breath in and raise, rotate, out as we return. Last one. Deep breath in, rotate, out as we return. All right, get ready to go into our right sided plank now. Gonna do that whole sequence from the top. This side, working the left hip. So, gonna go into a right sided plank, right elbow under the right shoulder, forearm on the mat, fist pointing out in front. We're just gonna press up, bend that left knee as we tap in front of the right leg, drive the knee up, tap behind the right leg. Remember, you can bend that right knee at the bottom if that's too much for you and you need help with the balance a little bit. So, press up and let's go. Deep breath in, tap in front, out, behind. Two, nice and controlled, tap, behind. Three, and behind. Four, remember to drag the knee up as we switch positions, last one. And behind, good, slowly lower. Give that arm a break, this time we're gonna go for our leg slides. Up the right leg. And we press up, deep breath in, slide to the knee, out, nice and slow as you straighten. Two, and out and down. Three, in and up, out and down. Four, and down, five, and down, slowly lower. Bend both knees, get ready for clamshells on the left. Keep that right elbow under the right shoulder. Don't hide the shoulder, don't dip into it. Engage the core. Keep that pelvis on the left side pointing up to the ceiling. We're just gonna open that left hip. Keep the left knee pointing up to the sky and feet are in contact for the whole move. Slowly lower back onto that right knee. Ready, deep breath in and open. Nice and slow. Out as we come down. Two. And out. Good. Three. And out. Four. And out. Last one. And out. Good job. Now we're gonna go for our runners. It's reverse runners. So just come onto your hands and knees. Hands under the shoulder, knees hip width apart, and under the hips. And then we're gonna bring that left leg between those hands. Remember, you can keep the fingertips in contact with the mat if you like. But if you can, go ahead and roll up nice and carefully with me. Deep breath in as we bring those arms overhead. And out as we rock back. Straighten that left leg and sitting on the right heel. Deep breath in, come up into a runner's arms up. Tuck that tailbone. And out as we sit back onto the right heel. Three more. Deep breath in. Push forward into that left heel, out, as we rock back onto the right heel. Two more. And out, as we rock back, bending forward at the hip. Last one, deep breath in. And out. As we come down, deep breath in as we return to our runners. We're gonna keep those hands on either side of the left foot. Just gonna take our left hand, take a deep breath in as we go. Rotate up to the left side, keeping that left hand pointing out to the sky and following that motion with our eyes. Slowly let that air out as we return. 
return to our starting position. Let's go for five. Deep breath in and turn. Slowly let it out and return. Deep breath in and turn. And out. Keep that back nice and straight. And out. Two more. Deep breath in. And out. Nice and controlled. Last one. Deep breath in. And out. Good job. Stay in this position. Just walk the left foot closer to the right hand. And slowly lower. Keeping that left knee pointing out to the left hand. And just lower, lower, lower onto the mat. Just walk that right leg out behind. And we're going to bend forward over the left knee into our pigeon. Deep breath in. And out. Walk those hands forward for a deeper stretch. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Two more. Deep breath in. And out. Last one, deep breath in. And out. Slowly walk those hands back as you press up into sitting. Get that left hand close to that left knee. Take your time, rock over to the right. Drive that left knee back under that left hip. Get those hands under the shoulders once more, back straight. And we're gonna go for hip circles on the left. So just straighten the left leg out to hip level. Rotate, keeping that left knee pointing out to the side. And then bring it down and back under that left hip. Ready, deep breath in as we raise. Rotate, let it out as we come down. Two, deep breath in. Rotate, out, and down. Deep breath in. Rotate, out, and down. Four, deep breath in. Rotate, and out. Last one, deep breath in. Rotate, and down. Good job. You're gonna keep it here, hands on the shoulders. This time, you're gonna keep those feet in contact with each other. Just gonna walk those knees apart as much as you can manage. Keep those feet together. Gonna go for reverse butterflies. Gonna make it a little bit more challenging. So if your wrists are hurting in this one, you can just go ahead and just walk them forward a little bit. If not, you can go ahead and keep them on the shoulder with you. And you're gonna arch the back, look up. Gonna bring this up with some cat cow. Deep breath in as we look up. Slowly let it out as we round that back. And look at our navel. Really feel that stretch in the groin. Deep breath in, look up. And out as we round the back and look down. Three more. Deep breath in, look up. And out as you bring it down. Two more. Deep breath in, look up. And out as you bring it down. Last one. Deep breath in. And out. Nice job. Straighten that back, back to neutral. Gonna hold it here for five slow deep breaths. If you want it to be a little bit deeper of a stretch, you can even rock down onto your forearms. 
keeping that back nice and straight and just hold it with me. Ready, deep breath in, elbows under the shoulders, slowly let it out. Try and keep those feet touching each other as much as you can, deep breath in. And out, nice and slow. Got three more, deep breath in. And out. Two more, deep breath in. And out. Bring it home with this last one, deep breath in. Feel those lungs expanding. Feel that stretch in the hips. Slowly let that air out. Also, you can press back onto your hands. Just take your time, walk the hands back towards the pelvis, sit back onto the heels, and you can bring those knees together. And we did it. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope your hips are feeling nice and loose so you can go ahead and kick off the rest of this Yas Beach workout mini series. Don't forget, you can pair this workout as well with another hip opening sequence I have prepared for you back in the yesteryear, trapped in the ether just for you. You can also pair this mini series with other workouts I have prepared for you. You can go ahead and just follow my workout guide that I prepared. Nice and great for you. Take that guesswork out or you can follow me on my socials so you can see everything that I have planned for you for the rest of this mini series. Don't forget to give this video a big beautiful thumbs up before you go, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell right over there so you can see when I post a new video as soon as I post them every Friday just for you. And as always, love your body, have fun with your fitness, and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye!